My father, Ted Carter, commenced practice as a partner at Richardson Carter & Co in Adelaide Street in 1944. Brisbane was a very different place then. It was the headquarters for the Allied effort in the South Pacific during World War II. Its population swelled to 750,000 during the war with American and Australian soldiers. Buildings were sandbagged, windows were taped up, water mains were filled with salt water in case of fires. It was a land of opportunity as the war came to an end as a lot of Australians, overseas immigrants and other Queenslanders saw it as a place to fulfil their dreams. So Ted started a practice, put up his shingle as the war came to an end. And because he was well known in the business community and well known in the legal, in legal circles, his practice flourished. In 1955, Richardson Carter & Co merged with two competitors and became Carter, Kapner & Stewart. A year later, Fred Kapner left the firm and it moved from Adelaide Street to Qantas House in Queen Street opposite the GPO. That was my first memory of the law firm. I worked there from when I was 13 years old on school holidays and continued working there on school holidays and university holidays over the years. I had three brothers who also became lawyers and they worked in the law firm from time to time. It was a very exciting period. My father taught us a lot. We stayed in the TNG building until 2010 from when we moved to where we find ourselves today in Charlotte Street. In that same year we opened an office at the Princess Alexandra Hospital in Mullingabba. The way I see the values of a modern law firm is to be really good at giving good, genuine, helpful service. We've built a reputation of delivering expert legal services efficiently and cost effectively. We cater to small business, individuals and family. We're all about maximising client benefits, client protection and client satisfaction. I learned a hell of a lot from my father the importance of accuracy, knowledge and courtesy. But probably the most important thing of all was to always challenge the norm, to come up with original solutions. That's been really important to me personally and professionally. I'm very proud to have served as National President of the Australian Lawyers Alliance. And then after that, I served and still serving as a Governor on the board of the American Association for Justice, headquartered in Washington DC with 30,000 members. And of course it's very satisfying to have grown a small business to help the commercial and legal needs of Queenslanders here and around the world.